welcome to my channel my name is Mimi and today I will actually be talking about my two dogs as requested um, you guys have asked me to you know for my first YouTube video to introduce my two dogs and that's what I decided to do I mean why not right they're a part of me they're a part of my life um, I love them so much so I think that actually would be great to be my first YouTube video um, so my first one is actually on my lap she's my oldest she's a full breed Maltese she's two and a half her birthday is uh, September 25th 2018 I got her about two and a half years ago I believe her birthday was supposed to be on August but I decided um, to actually have her birthday be the day that um, I officially have her, which was September 25th, 2018. And um, we made that her official birthday ever since. Um, most of the time, Shu is actually very, very um, attached to me. She's attached to me and my fiance. Um, she doesn't like us to ever leave her alone basically um, she's with us 24 7 and if she's not with me then she's with my parents she's with my mom or my dad because with Shu she has um what is it um separation anxiety um and it's hard for her to ever be alone or be away from us um so most of the time we try to just have her with us you know everywhere that we possibly go on trips and everything i would book hotels to see if you know if she can stay and most of the time if she's not allowed to stay then i would actually just not go on vacation because i don't know i'm really attached to her as well so i don't think that's a really good thing so we don't really go to much places i I enjoy my time with my dogs actually at home you know like I do a lot of activities with them and yeah that's just where I like to be um Shu she is very timid at times as well and she gets scared a lot too um, she's a overall though she's a very sweet dog um besides the fact that she's very clingy um we are still working on that and I'll explain to you why we got a second dog um, because of everything that you know she goes through and she was afraid of so yeah so this is Shu. she is two and a half and she's so cute she's beautiful aren't you beautiful and you know she's everything to me she's my first and my forever love I love her so much oh thank you baby Okay, so that's a little background about Shu. Um, next is so exciting. Um, so just overall, my next dog, um, I actually got her, let me see, I believe two weeks ago or a week ago. I believe we got her on um, February 27th. So it was exciting. Um, we found her online and at first we weren't thinking about getting another dog it was more of um <laughs> because of shoes separation anxiety we thought that it was best to actually get a second dog to keep her company because um what is it i have work my you know my job is um an eight to like five type of job and Sonny, my fiance, um, his job is really early as well. But the thing of about it is his job is more flexible than my job. Um, but he still, you know, he still has to go show houses and stuff. He can't stay home all the time with the girls. And uh, we can't really, we don't, like I said, we never usually leave her alone. We always want her, you know, to be happy and not be stressed out because when she is stressed out, when she's alone, she um, starts shaking uncontrollably because she's really scared and she's not used to being alone. Um, 
uh, before living here, actually, I was um, living with my parents for a while and we pretty much raised shoe over there and, you know, raising shoe over there, there was a house with, I believe, like five of us, six of us. So there was always people at home, you know, there were, if I was at work or my fiance is at work, um, she'll be with my parents or my little brother, you know, she's never ever alone. So so um i believe you know she grew up um and got used to that and she just isn't used to being alone so when she is it's it's different for her and it scares her but back to what i was talking about um my second dog right here um she let me go grab her what am i doing <laughs> come here this is her this is our new baby. Her name is Mocha. Oh my God, look at you. So she's very, very tiny. The she is actually a Maltese mixed with a Shih Tzu. Um, I can't say it, I don't know why. Please, please people don't be mad at me. I really don't know how to pronounce it. But yeah, she's half Maltese, half Shih Tzu and um, in a way, I feel like she is not what the breeder said she was um, or she is. Um, to me, she's more like a poodle mix. Her hair is very different from Shu. Her hair is extremely curly, like very curly. So, so curly. Um, so I don't, I didn't think that she was a Maltese mixed at all. I thought she was more like a poodle but you know they they're the breeders they should be right right like not me but it's just different because she, it's so curly and for her um for mocha um she actually um they told us that she will be about four to six pounds the same thing they said about shoe and shoe is actually eight to nine pounds so um a complete big difference um, she was actually a lot bigger than we thought she would be or we were told as well. So we're hoping that Mocha stays four to six pounds like we were told. But, you know, it's okay if she gets bigger and or the same size as Shu. Um, but, yeah, she's really tiny. She's, oh, she makes my heart happy. Um... So the reason why we even got Mocha in the first place is, like I said, because of Shu, we didn't want her to feel alone. We wanted her to have a friend and be at home with someone and not be afraid. So we, we were thinking that it's best for us to, um, you know, have Mocha, have a friend for Shu where Shu can stay um, alone at home with you know and without being scared or less scared because she has someone here at home with her so I'm just hoping that overall things will get better for Shu you know I want her to be in a way be more independent um, and not wanting to be with her parents or you know her parents all the time I want her to, you know, find her own little happiness besides just being with us and feeling like she needs to be with us in order to feel safe, in order to be herself. So hopefully getting her sister Mocha here, um, maybe it'll make her less dependent on us, make her more excited and let her understand that you know it's her and her sister she'll be at home with her sister all the time it doesn't always have to be me or anyone else you know just i'm just i don't know i really care about my dogs and i would do all that i possibly can to you know provide them or just make them feel comfortable. And it breaks my heart every time I leave and having Shu cry. She, I would leave to work for eight hours, nine hours a day, you know, and she would just sit at the door and just wait for us. She, I noticed she doesn't eat her food. She doesn't pee. She doesn't poop. Like she'll hold it all in until I come home. And, you know, for me, it breaks my heart. You know, I, I've tried to find ways where 
to have her be um, less um, dependent on us. But as of right now, I, I still can't get her to not be so attached to me and my fiance. So we'll see how things go. So far, at first when I brought Mocha home to shoe, um, she was excited for about five minutes. And then she realized that Mocha is staying. She was like, no, 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 you know. And she basically felt like Mocha was invading her territory. You know, Mocha was sitting on her bed and she did not like that. She would um, bark nonstop. And um, every time we would hold Mocha or like my fiance would hold Mocha, she gets really uh, like the like really scared and and upset at the same time. At first, she's scared. She would run away. She would um, hide and ignore me and my fiance. She would just not care about us anymore, just because you know she feels like she's being replaced in a way. And I honestly, I don't, I didn't, I don't want her to feel like that you know i want her to understand that the only reason why we even bought her a sister is for her to have a friend you know i want her to have a friend but mocha on the other hand um really loves shu um she always wants to be around shu she'll chase after shu like the whole day if she needs to and at night when she sleeps she wants to sleep with shu and if she doesn't sleep with shu she'll start crying all night long and I think it's really cute. Um, it's been about a week or two now and Shu seems like she's adapting to um, Mocha a, a, a lot better. You know, like she's playing with Mocha. Um, I can see that there are times where she still has her guard up when, um, you know, we would hug or like kiss Mocha or hold Mocha. She would still be a little jealous i can tell um she doesn't like that so she would try to jump on um my leg or her dad's leg and you know like holds me hold me you know like give me love too <laughs> so yeah i mean overall they're getting along much better than the first day that um we got mocha because the first day when we got mocha um we honestly kind of felt like we weren't going to keep her to be honest is because we felt like it was too much for Shu. Um, we basically felt like it wasn't going to work out at all, like at all, because how um, how Shu just didn't eat, she didn't, she barely slept everywhere that she went and Mocha was there, she didn't want to be there. But you know, that was only 14 hours of us being with um mocha you know of her being with mocha so we thought about it and we were like we should give it some more time you know like maybe it's just too short of a time and we it's okay and um we shouldn't just judge it by 14 hours at least give it a week at least give it three weeks um you know i was told by some friends you know it's going to be like that the first um, week or so um, it takes about three weeks for a dog to get adapt to um, or you know get used to being around each other so she was working on it she's doing really well and I can't be more proud of her and I hope she knows that we're doing this for her because we love her and we don't want her to be alone you know and so we're a family of four now and it's exciting it's a lot of work, I'll tell you that, you know, and with um, Mocha, she's a lot more, how would I say it? I wouldn't say bad. She is very sassy. She is very feisty. Um, when she pees and poops somewhere and I tell her no, she'll scream back at me. She'll yell at me like, why are you yelling at me? I poop where I want, basically. And um so far she hasn't torn anything apart but she loves to bite everything she loves she's still i believe because she's still teething of course you know and i get her toys and everything but she rather chew on us humans than chew on her toys so yeah 
we have a lot to work on and um she'll be in my videos you know they both will be on be on my videos um from this point on out i'll have them around because i noticed that a lot of my instagram and facebook friends really like seeing them so i'll make sure to have them in my videos you know at least maybe all the time because <laughs> they're always going to be with me and so yeah that's my dogs and you know i love them and i hope that you guys will eventually love them too um, they're very sweet they're very cute um, they're very expensive yeah so thank you so much for watching um, and i'll catch you on my next video